Chris, you know, before we dive into how we can become an everyday millionaire, I thought it would be good to break down the mathematics for people. What is what does being a millionaire really mean? It's not the salary, right? I mean, it's other things, right? That's correct. And I'm so glad you point that out because a lot of people believe that to be a millionaire means that you make a million dollars a year. And that's just not the case. So it's about your net worth. Uh, so it's a matter of looking at what you own minus what you owe. Okay, so again, what you own, that's a total of your investment accounts, your IRAs, your Roth IRAs, uh, your home, your vehicles, all of those things added up minus what you owe on it. And if that net result is a million dollars, then you, my friend, are an everyday millionaire. Excellent. Well, I'm, I'm glad we broke that down a little bit. So in your book, you found that 74% of millennials and 52% of baby boomers think that millionaires inherited their wealth. What did your research find? Well, and it's, it's staggering, right? I mean, because if you believe that and you think that, that the only way to build wealth is through an inheritance, then if your family doesn't have money or you don't stand to inherit anything, what you feel like is that you're left out. Uh, but the truth is, is that only 21% of the millionaires that we studied received an inheritance, only 21%. And so anyone that believes that it's a larger percentage than that, like the, the over 70% like millennials or 55% like the baby boomers, that would be false. So why do you think people believe these types of things? Does it just make them feel better about maybe not getting to that situation? What, what do you think, Chris? Well, I, I think, you know, it's a culmination of a few things. Uh, having looked at the research and really dug into this, I think there is a component of it to think that, OK, it's easier to just imagine someone being handed something versus someone working toward it over a long period of time. So I think that there's part of that mental justification. Well, that you say, OK, well, that's how they got it. But when you re really start to dig into it a little bit and you start to understand that you have people that have worked very, very hard, have been very consistent over time, making sacrifices and working toward that, it's a little bit more difficult for people to wrap their heads around if they don't believe that it's possible for them. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So so we talked about some of the, you know, the, the untruths. Let's talk about some of the truths, right? So what are the true characteristics or or personal attributes that you found of these everyday millionaires? Well, I mean, it was amazing. You know, anytime you talk, take on a, a research study like this of over 10,000, uh, it's a massive undertaking. But we really wanted to dig in and understand what is kind of the, the those characteristics and attributes. Well, the first one is personal responsibility. Uh, these are individuals that, that know, regardless of where they are, uh, that it's something that's on them. Right. I mean, 97 percent of millionaires believe that they control their own destiny. And so it's a matter of having this mindset that, hey, I am going to be responsible and it's on me. Another characteristic was being intentional with their finances. Uh, this is one of those things that's not an accident for them. You know, they're plugged in. They're budgeting. You know, they're attacking debt. I mean, that, you know, the average millionaire paid off their home in just under 11 years. And so this is a mindset of people that stay focused and know what it is they're trying to accomplish. Uh, millionaires are also goal oriented. Uh, these are people that set a chart for themselves and a course, and they really know how to push themselves to make sure that they're working towards something they like to achieve. And they're, they consider themselves hard workers, uh, which is the number four thing, which is being hard workers, meaning plugging in and doing the job that's necessary, right? They're not looking to cut corners. They're not looking to get out of doing something. They want to do things that matter, right? And they want to, they care about what it is that they're doing. 66% of the millionaires that we studied said that they loved their jobs, right? That they had that love in their heart for what they do. And the final characteristic is wealth building. Uh, they know that wealth building takes consistency, right? And that's time after time of really being focused. And it's no wonder, right, that 79% of millionaires said the employer-sponsored retirement plans, the 401ks, 403bs, and IRAs were the number one cause for them to build wealth. Number one. And so you look at this and that consistently investing in your 401k or your 403b, you know, over the course of 25 to 30 years will put you on that path. So you said it's a 401k. I thought it would maybe be like the lottery or Bitcoin or maybe like a rich uncle or something like that. It's, it's, it's the 401k, huh? It is the 401k. And a lot of people think that, right? And nobody that we talked to, none of the 10,000 millionaires, over 10,000 of them, none of them said that it was the, that they won the lottery or, the, or that caused them to be rich. None of them said it was about their income. And so we got to tell people the truth so they can understand, hey, this is not something that I'm excluded from, right? The American dream is alive and available, but you just have to understand it, believe you can do it, and then start to work in that direction.